went to uh, up Sam Flats Road to uh, Lions Back uh, State Park and uh, looked at the bottom and then we went up to the top and seen the top of Lions Back and uh, the trail name is uh, Hell's Revenge so we went over and looked at the escalator uh, we went or the uh, Hell's Gate seen that went to the overlook and looked over the river it's about 550 feet above the road in the river. And uh, just the big mesas and all that. We didn't go all the way through the park because we were in the wrong vehicle, but uh, we had a pretty good day. Yeah, definitely. And uh, got to see the the real ups and the real downs, or as we call it here, sky dirt. <laughs> 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 go up and down there. But uh, it was a pretty good day. It's good weather and everything. Yeah, definitely. It was amazing. Just like the day. And yeah, today uh, you guys will take off and go to uh, Arches National Park and then go out to Dead Horse Point. Look at all the, all the pretty scenery. Yeah. It's all on pavement, so there isn't much four-wheeling. No. But uh, I wished I'd have had a little notice. I could have put the right Jeep together and <laughs> the right tires on and got a group, and then we could have went and done some trails. But uh, it's a vacation day, so. Yeah, be all right. So we're going to go today and down to Moab 4x4 Outpost and see some of the uh, rock crawlers and custom jeeps that they build down there for the area. For yeah, it's going to be fun to see. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you, you've done also lots of modification stuff. Uh, yeah, with all the, the jeeps that I have over all the years, I've done, been building for... Uh, since about 1973, yeah. so I've had uh, the full gamut from the rock crawling all the way up to full competition, the desert racing, and all that. Yeah, so, so you'd, you've seen it all. Many months yeah, ago. but every time uh, during Easter Safari that people come here, I uh, because I live in a small town out of the loop, I get to see all the new latest and greatest and all the new innovations and all the new cars and axles and <laughs> all the way they do things. You got all the fun stuff. I get to see all that and play with it. So. Yeah, they, they come over here with, uh, with the uh, concept vehicles from Jeep. And yeah, the uh, Deer and Safari, uh, Chrysler, Jeep bring all their concept stuff out here. and We have a big party here. Most of the, uh, what happens here is if you can fix your own stuff, you can come here and use all my tools and use the garage and yeah. get it fixed. Yes. And uh, then the manufacturers throw their company parties here, different company every night, and they invite all the people. And we get 450, 475 people a night here. That's, Just, uh, yeah. that's, that's for the Easter? Easter safari, Jeep Easter. safari here. Yeah. But, uh, and then during the rest of the year, I have the car shows, and then I have the, the side-by-sides, a UTV and ATV group. They have rallies here. Yeah. I get involved in that. And then uh, just friends f coming from Texas and California and all over the place, they yeah. come here. I can put uh, about 18 motorhomes on the property, and they have a place to stay, and they cook and barbecue, and then I have the fire pits and everything. We build fires and just... Yeah. Just party and talk and bench race. <laughs> it's an amazing place, really. Yeah, it's a, it's really a good melting pot because for the businesses, they get an opportunity all year. All they see is a work order and a number. It gives them a chance to put a face with a name yeah. and, a, and a business so they get to talk about what's good, what's bad, and all that. Mm -hmm. And it gives their customers a chance to... Uh, walk up and shake hands with a guy that they've been spending thousands of dollars with yeah. and they get some positive negative feedback and all that and it's uh the place here is also a um, it's a neutral area when they come here they don't compete they don't try to say my product is better than this guy's product and all yeah. that kind of it's just kind of a mellow yeah. uh, good time and they talk about what they're doing and all that yeah. and then there's a lot of deals made here there's an old cliche that the deals are made on the golf course in the business world. <laughs> here, the four-wheel drive world, the business deals are made <laughs> here at Grandpa's Garage. <laughs> so, uh, last year, two years ago, I was here and 
the place was full and I looked out there by the gate and there was four or five guys standing there talking and I didn't go out there and I went around the front to check and there was four or five guys talking there and then next year when their catalogs come out, oh this guy's selling his product now and they're, I go, oh I know where that deal was made, it was made right here in the yard. <laughs> so, and then they, they do scheduling of their events and all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a fun yeah. place to be. Yeah. Uh, one question, since you've done so, so many modifications and stuff, um, what's your secret recipe for making a good 4x4 truck? I've had that question asked for a long time, and I have to come back to you with the first question is, how are you going to use it? Yeah. You don't put 40s and raise it up 6 inches and get on the freeway and try to do 70 miles an hour. If you, it, I have to have the information before I can answer the question, or are you going to trailer it, or are you going to flat tow it, or are you going to drive it every day, is your wife going to drive it, the kid's going to drive it, or are you just going to climb with it, or are you going to race high speed, yeah. so if, if the, if i got to know what you're, what kind you're building. Cause okay, let's say, let's say I'm, uh, I, to, I want to have an everyday driver that I, that my wife could drive, but I can go... Uh, Go some trails and uh, a, some capable, a capable, capable trail jeep. Yeah, um, of course, the new JKs are really capable right out of the box. Mm -hmm. But to build one, you want make two and a half, three inch lift, 33 to 35 inch tires, where you can get in and out of it without having to get a ladder to get up in it. Yeah. And when you start raising them up over three inches, you start messing up the steering geometry, the drive line angles. You get vibration, and it's just mm -hmm. A good all-around trail jeep would be a, a factory Rubicon, in my opinion, with all the factory stuff on it. Raise it up about two, three inches. Yeah. Put some good shocks on it. And buy the quality tires that you can air down. Yeah. Still go out and beat them up and bruise them. Air them back up, and then you can get on the on the highway and drive the, the speed limit. Yeah. But, but uh, you, you do more, more like more extreme Trucks. I've went what's, all what's the way your, Tell me about a favorite one that you've modified. Uh, of course, I like Big Red. Yeah. I've had that for a long time. That, that's a great Jeep. But again, it's got a small gas tank <laughs> and no, no air conditioning, no, <laughs> you know, all the comforts, creature comforts. But uh, I'm kind of partial to the King of the Hammer type racing yeah. or the Baja racing where there's a lot of speed and skill in it. And I've been on just about every four-wheel drive trail in the United States. I mean, it's uh, fun and it's challenging and all that, but uh, yeah. I'm just, you know, I'm 70 years old and about this time in my life. It's just, uh, I've been there, done that so many times, I'm getting kind of bored with it. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know where it's going to go from here. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? So.